गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद इकोनॉमिक्स क्लास इलेवेंथ इकोनॉमिक्स चैप्टर नंबर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई दिज अ नीड टू स्टडी द सब्जेक्ट इकोनॉमिक्स बिकॉज इट्स अ न्यू सब्जेक्ट फॉर यू स्टूडेंट्स सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट वी गेट द इंटरप्रिटेशन वाई दिज अ नीड टू स्टडी द सब्जेक्ट इकोनॉमिक्स इज इट यूजफुल फॉर फर्दर लाइफ और इट्स जस्ट ओनली अ बुकिश नॉलेज ओके सो वट यू मीन बाय द टर्म्स इकोनॉमिक्स इकोनॉमिक्स एक्सैक्टली इट्स अ ग्रीक वर्ड and if we split it in two parts it's a household management it means in simple terms if we are studying the subject economics it means we are learning household management okay now let's proceed with the terms here i have bifurcated it in two parts i have just write down one term economy and other term economics is there any difference between these two terms answer is yes okay let's see let's check what do you mean by the term economy economy It is a system which provides people the means to work and earn a living. What is a what is an economy? Economy is a system. We can say economy itself is a system which will provide the people the means to work and earn a living. मतलब हम अपनी economy के अंदर, अपनी country के अंदर कुछ work करते हैं, उस work पे उस उस work के basis पे अपन कुछ earn करते हैं और अपना survival करते हैं. Like our Indian economy. you uh, us economies and there are the different different economy of different different country so exactly what does the term economy economy is nothing else it's only a system which will provide the people the mean to work jiske through log kaam karte hain and apni earning karke apna survival karte hain simple so now proceed with the terms economics that's your subject exactly what we are studying in class 11 that's a economics and economy is just a term so now what do you mean by the term economics it is a branch of social science student it is a branch of social science i think you students are quite aware and you have studied social science in class 10 or even in your uh, previous classes so it's a branch of social science matlab nothing new for you studies how society deal with scarcity of resources in this economics we will learn we will interpret it, how the economy deal with the scarcity of resources now sir what do you mean by the term scarcity because the main concept here is the term scarcity of resources in simple terms students scarcity means limitations means kami kisi bhi cheez ki kami hona as compared to its requirement as compared to its demand hum jitni wo cheez chahte hain hame utna wo cheez nahi mil paye it means somehow we have to manage the things अपने क्या पढ़ा फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट हमने आपको क्या बताया था इकोनॉमिक्स मींस इट्स अ ग्रीक टर्म एंड इफ यू स्प्लिट इन टू पार्ट्स फर्स्ट टर्म इज अ हाउस होल्ड सेकंड टर्म इज अ मैनेजमेंट मींस हाउस होल्ड मैनेजमेंट अब हाउस होल्ड बच्चों कैसे मैनेज करते हैं कैन वी से वी हैव अ अबंडेंट मनी विद अस नो वी हैव सम लिमिटेड मनी वी हैव सम लिमिटेड इनकम इन दैट इनकम वी हैव टू मैनेज आवर हाउस सो इन द सिमिलर मैनर इकोनॉमिक्स डील विद द इकोनॉमी इन द इकोनॉमी there is a process of a production consumption and generation of income so as the economy generate the income now they have to look ki where they have to invest that particular money where they have to allocate their resources because bachcho here we are saying studies how the society deal with the scarcity of resources it means we are not talking about only our uh, individual person we are talking about the society as a whole how the society is dealing with the scarcity of resources each and every individual and a combination of it means aggregate aggregate means ikatte when uh, number of people get accumulated so how they deal with this situation so in economics will get or will interpret how we manage with the scarcity of resources so our next question can we say uh, we are talking about ki economics means scarcity of resources and we have to deal with this problem so there are some economic problems also yes students we are talking about the economic problem economic problem is related to what can we say economic problem is a individual problem is a country problem or is a worldwide problem no here we are talking about our own economy because if we are talking about the uh, whole uh, or if we are talking about the worldwide that's a centralized problem that's what centralized problem right now we are talking about the economic that what related to a society okay so what are the economic problems let's interpret it it's a very simple terms bachcho first and foremost there is a scarcity of resources right now we have done with the discussion what does the term scarcity means in simple terms 
or in the bookish language we'll just go through one definition one line definition for the simple interpretation bachcho it means limitation of dash what limitation of dash what does the dash term dash here supply with relation to its demand we can say limitation kis cheez ki limitation hai bachcho ek scarcity means limitations means kami kis cheez ki limitation hai supply ki किसके रिलेशन में डिमांड के रिलेशन में वॉट डज इट मीन सिंपल एग्जाम्पल हियर इज टर्म सप्लाई सप्लाई इज वॉट हंड्रेड यूनिट एंड पैरल डिमांड इज ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी यूनिट इट मीन स्टूडेंट्स इन एन इकोनॉमी वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग हंड्रेड यूनिट्स वाई द कंज्यूमर्स आर रेजिंग अ डिमांड ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी यूनिट्स अब जस्ट इमेजिन अ सिचुएशन हमारे पास प्रोडक्शन कितना है बच्चों इन हैंड प्रोडक्शन कितना है ओनली हंड्रेड यूनिट्स बट लोगों की रिक्वायरमेंट कितनी उनकी डिमांड कितनी आ रही है 120 यूनिट्स कैन वी मीट दैट डिमांड ऑफ 120 जस्ट विद द 100 यस वी हैव टू मैनेज वी हैव टू मैनेज दैट्स व्हाई वी हैव यूज्ड द टर्म हाउस होल्ड मैनेजमेंट इट मींस विद द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द रिसोर्सेस वी हैव टू मैनेज दैट्स व्हाट अ स्कैरसिटी ऑफ रिसोर्सेस मूविंग टू अवर सेकंड एस्पेक्ट और सेकंड प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज अल्टरनेटिव यूजेस आई होप बच्चो there is a proper visibility you students are able to uh, see what is written there on the board okay let's proceed alternative uses i hope it's a familiar word we know what does the term alternative means agar hamare paas koi cheez nahi hai to hum kuch aur use kar le ya uski jagah bahut sare cheeze apan various options available karwate hain that's what alternatives alternatives means if someone uh, came suddenly so we, what we will prefer we offer them a tea coffee we we'll simply ask sir what would you like to have a tea coffee and something else so this is what are alternatives okay like just simple interpretation we'll get with the help of an example here my example i have considering a milk i am taking a milk so now what are the alternatives of the milk can we say milk is only used for uh, consumption purpose just only for the drinking point of view no we cannot say ki milk is only used for drinking prospectus there are some different different ways for which we can use milk we can use the milk for the purpose of curd for the purpose of sweets for the purpose of milk shake as well as for the purpose of tea coffee and many more options are there okay so now suppose for example <clears throat> as a household person in a morning when that particular milkman uh, came and he just gave a milk of 2 liter suppose for example 2 liter okay now that our mother have to manage that milk throughout the day so now uh, some of uh, it's a we can say weather according to the need according to the we can say weather changes will just demand the different different products like we can demand a curd somehow we can expect a sweet because right now we are at a home and we are not able to purchase the sweets from outside so we'll expect ki bhai mummy kuch ghar mein hi bana lijiye milk se hi sweets bana lijiye and now someone like milk shake to milk shake bhi banana pad sakta hai suppose somehow some guest arises and if we have to offer them a tea or a coffee so it means milk have a various uses now the problem is this ki how can we utilize it can we utilize it for all prospectors no we here it's a problem arises problem of choice it means we have to choice the things we have to select ki we can use this particular resource students now in this example milk is a resource for me now i how i am using my resources now how i am using my resources i can we have seen ki there are alternative options there are various options in which we can utilize milk but where can i use as per the requirement as per the urgency in the similar manner economy ke andar bahut sare resources hain bachche but how we utilize that resources it's a challenge for the government ki they have the resources but there are alternative uses like for example we can say government have a abundant money with them they have a monetary treasure with them but can we say it's abundant no because alternative uses right now we can see a situation of a corona for how the government is dealing with this situation they are simply using that particular treasure or fund for allocation in different different prospectus so alternative uses is also a challenging or it's a problem for economy it means we have our resources but that resource have various alternative uses so it's on us ki how we will manage that resources
hope point is clear so we have done with the two point students first is the scarcity of resources second one alternative uses now one more problem students i think uh, we uh, just a common question we all are human being obviously sir no doubt so can we say our wants are unlimited or it's limited sir our wants are limited or unlimited answer is unlimited sir meri wants to limited hai no students we cannot say like this because as we grown up our wants increases with our uh, age or as we grow here is the third point unlimited human wants but so this is a human being i think uh, i'm just trying to capture the whole board but somehow if it is not visible i am just trying to conclude it unlimited human wants here it's a single line no man satisfy all his wants what does it means we can say we are the human being and we just uh, as we grown up our wants are also grown up like for example in our childhood we are just happy with the bike uh, cycle or bicycle then as we grown up we demand for a scooty activa or a uh, vehicle so two vehicle two wheeler vehicle then further we went to the college then we demand for a car okay no problem suppose hamare uh, parents ne hame car dilwa di uh, nano swift ya alto koi bhi car dilwa di now then as we further move on again our demand rises now we want a lavish car a mercedes jaguar bmw so this is what can we say our wants are limited can we able to restrict our wants no not at all our wants are unlimited if is one more example students suppose if i am a earning person i am earning i am earning 10000 rupees now after that i will just think for 20 then 30 50 1 lakh 2 lakh 5 lakh can i say ki is a is there any limit is there any height where can i say ki no i am just now happy i can't do more work for the earning no sir human wants are unlimited we cannot satisfy our all wants as our we have done with the one wants then again the second want arises so hope you get the economic problems student so let's conclude there are many more topics but we will discuss in our later session now quick conclusion we have started a subject economics now what does the term economics can we say economy and economics are same answer is no economy there is a different prospectus and economics there is a different terms what do you mean by term economy is a system is a system jo logo ko kaam deta hai jisse wo apni earning karte hain and apna survival karte hain what does the terms economics economics ek social science hai jo logo ko scarcity of resources ko manage karna sikhata hai economy ke andar now there are some economic problems how many economic problems we have gone through students come on everyone three problems first scarcity of resources that is what limitation of supply with relation to its demand supply kam hai and demand uski zyada hai so we have to manage with that supply second point alternative uses we can say one product one resource have many alternative uses so it's also a challenge it's also a problem for the economy where we can allocate our resources and the third point unlimited human wants we are the human being and our wants are unlimited so hope students जितना भी अपन ने आज डिस्कस करा आप लोगों को समझ में आया होगा आई जस्ट ट्राई कि हमारा जो फर्दर प्रेजेंटेशन रहेगा विल प्रोसीड इन द सिमिलर मैनर इन केस इफ यू फील एनी क्वेरीज और एनी सजेशन फ्रॉम योर साइड इट्स मोस्ट वेलकम फ्रॉम माय साइड स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू गिव माई बेस्ट इट्स अ सिचुएशन ऑफ अ कोरोना सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू अक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम यू गाइज की स्टे होम एंड बी सेफ थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स नमस्ते